but I just find that interesting. You know, Brahms did that all the time. He would, he, 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 but that was because he was so unsure about how to orchestrate. So he, he you know, the piano quintet, all, all these pieces he, he first, first made in, in piano versions. Mm -hmm. But um, I just found this interesting because to me this piece is the orchestra, you know, and we <laughs> define the way we orchestrate and think of it. And so I, and I feel the same thing with Ravel. Ravel is, is the quintessential great, great orchestrator, and yet his piece, he was also, he primarily saw things as a pianist first. Mm. Debussy's different. I think from the very beginning, Debussy, if he wrote an orchestra piece, it was about the orchestra. I'm talking about La Mer tonight. And I don't think, it may have started out as a piano piece, but you don't get that a sense because it's so much about color and sound. But Ravel, it really, you really can transcribe all of Ravel for piano, which is fascinating. Mm. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> no, it's good. Uh, pictures at an exhibition comes to mind. That yeah. was a piano piece. Right, Fully. exactly. Uh -huh. Before it got Sorry. orchestrated. Yeah, yeah. well, pe people spent their whole lives with Missouri Ski trying to figure out how to... How to uh, right. Dude, I was just reading on Shostakovich spent uh, one of his favorite projects was was reorchestrating the entire opera of Boris Gudnov to deal with all the orchestration <laughs> problems.